At the transit camp just inside the Hungarian border, our photographer Joe Curry spots a familiar face. Hey, Rachel, Rachel. It's Haula, a Syrian woman with special needs twin boys. We met her earlier in the day in Serbia. She's walked the five kilometres across the border to Europe. These two children, this one can't walk very well, this one neither can speak, but they're both... Nada is our translator. Uh, Haula is telling us how hard it was for her to travel with her two kids and husband uh, from Turkey to Greece by boat. They risked uh, sinking a few times and after arriving to Greece they left to Macedonia where they were treated terribly. She's telling us that her kids have uh, a brain disease called cerebral atrophy. Uh, it left one of her twins completely paralyzed uh, and with a, with a hip problem. And Muhammad, the other twin, can barely walk. One of his legs is paralyzed. Uh, they want to get to Germany to seek medical attention for their kids and obviously dangerous journey for them but with two disabled kids who can't walk they had to carry them. There will soon be a rush to board the bus to the transit camp so I ask the Hungarian police if they can make some space for the twins. Just a little bit of English. Um, two children who are disabled. These two children, this one can't walk very well, this one neither can speak, but they're both, they're both very disabled. He can't walk, if you can help them get through. Okay. That's their they family. Will be, they will be the first at the next bus, okay? Okay, they so they just need to be, if they, I tell them to stay around here, is that okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Good luck, good luck. They're taking them up onto that bus, they'll be taken to a refugee camp. If they're lucky from there, they will get to carry on up to somewhere like Austria or Germany.